yeah, how did you hear about Minari then and how did you get involved? Sure, um, the way I heard about it was um, uh, through the, our producer, Christina O, oh, our fearless leader. Um, she has been a producer at Plan B for a while. And so I met her when I interviewed for The Last Black Band in San Francisco, uh, which is another film that's really close to my heart because I'm from the San Francisco Bay Area and I've mourned a little bit this, the huge changes that have happened just economically and societally in that city um, as the tech boom has happened there. Uh, and so the kind of themes that Last Black Man uh, played out are things that, you know, I've really meditated on. And, you know, as far as like, how much do we own a place that we think of as our homes? You know, how much is it, is it ever truly ours? And what does that mean as far as, you know, how we interact with you know, that place in our memories. Um, but yeah, Christina and I hit it off right away just because we were both Korean Americans who grew up in predominantly uh, non-Korean communities, mostly majority white communities. And we're both people who chose an artistic career um, despite the risks. And so we really bonded. Um, and so when I was on Euphoria, when she called and she said, okay, you can't, you know, take on another job until you read this script because, you know, I read a lot of material that are kind of Asian American stories, particularly after she produced uh, Okja with Wong Jun Ho, like people were sending her Asian scripts all the time, but she said, this one is special. This one feels different. And I read the script. I fell in love with it, um, particularly because um, it had a way of telling this story about immigrant life that wasn't just focused on the second generation, you know, and how they adapted to life in the States that it gave a kind of agency and a voice to the first generation, uh, which Irene and I have talked about a couple of times as being so rare uh, in uh, American filmmaking. And um, that balance was what really attracted me to the project. And after speaking with uh, Isaac by phone, because he was in Korea at the time, um, I don't know if you know his story, but he was in Korea because he had basically said, I should probably give up on being a writer director and do something more practical like teach. And Minari was the last script that he was going to write just as a kind of swan song before, you know, focusing just on, on, on being a professor. And so he was in Korea teaching at a remote campus at the University of Utah in Seoul. And we got to interview uh, and we, you know, I think fell in artistic love with each other right away. And uh, that's how I came onto the project. 우리 여기 있다가 망할 거야. 애들을 위해서라도 한번더 생각해 볼수 있잖아. 애들도 한 번쯤 아빠가 뭔가 해내는 거 봐야 될거 아니야. 진짜 라이더 봐. 할머니는 진짜 할머니 같지 않아요. 할머니 같은 게 뭔데? 쿠키도 만들고 나쁜 말도 안 하고 먼저 팬티도 안 입고. 